New York City's very own meditation oasis, Mindful Studio, to chat with some of NYC's most in-demand meditation gurus. The question of the day, can mindfulness be a tool for reaching your fitness goals? Or can a certain well and good editor exercise your mental muscles as well as your physical ones? So Lodro, I know that pro athletes and Reebok One trainers use mental tools like visualization and meditation to up their fitness game, but how can someone, just an everyday person like myself, do the same? Just doing a little bit of meditation every day actually has significant changes in affecting our brain. We are more productive, more focused, that we're actually less stressed out, we're more able to deal with discomfort. Particularly when we're exercising, a lot of discomfort comes up, this helps us work through it. I'm always thinking. That's been a <laughs> big struggle for me personally in meditation. We have between 60 and 80,000 thoughts a day. So it's oh, actually yeah. totally impossible to turn those off. A lot of times people think that meditation is a mental exercise. More okay. often than not, it is a physical one. We're like being with the breath, just physically feeling okay. the breath and being in the body. It does help us in terms of our workouts, our work in general. I personally, I box. If I am lost I in my too. head, then okay. you know you're more likely to get hit. If you're thinking about your email inbox, Someone's yeah. getting you in the kidney. But if you're actually in your body, then you're more likely to actually be able to respond skillfully in ways that are helpful. Okay, cool. Ellie, can you tell me a little bit about how Mindful started? Yeah, so I was really struggling with my practice at home. I had a cushion there and a beautiful altar and a budding mindfulness practice, but I was having a lot of trouble getting the tush on the cush, as they say. And I thought about you know, what I was able to show up for six days a week, and that was my workout. And so I was really looking for that same sort of community and level of instruction under one roof. How does your mindful practice help you perform better in your workouts? I try to do one thing at a time. So if I'm meditating, I'm doing just that. Having the awareness that you're pushing beyond a muscle limitation or maybe you're developing an injury and just being really gentle and kind and it's kind of open and soft around what it feels like to be a human being in a physical body. One tip for beginning meditators um, is first and foremost not to judge yourself. Take a moment to find your seat, to find a seat that feels really supported and sustainable. And it's letting the gaze fall into the floor, almost as though you're looking through the floor, not directly at it. And so beginning by shifting our attention over to the sensation of sound. In our last few moments of practice, it's taking an opportunity to reconnect to what it is that brought you here. Before today, my thoughts on meditation were that it was hard and I'd be happy if I never had to do it. But then my job asked me to do it on camera and that all changed. I can honestly say that aside from wanting one of these pillows in my office, um, I'd like to come back and I'd like to give it a chance. I spend a lot of my time in studios doing group classes and it can be challenging to kind of center and be present when you have so many stimuli that are grabbing your attention, whether it's the shiny leggings on the person next to you, or it's what you're seeing in the mirror in that moment. Even in a busy city, if you can take five minutes for yourself just to show up and to be that person for you, like it can make such a big difference.